so today we are going to be experiencing a solar eclipse and um, it's going to be happening shortly and I'll show you how to go about recording it or taking pictures of it and what we're going to use is something that's really is about 10 bucks so it's really cheap you can find it at a hardware store what it is is a welding lens and there's different densities from about 6 to 12 or more I'm not sure um, the higher the number the darker they are and you want a really dark one to be able to see look at the sun and so you can either use these ones and look directly at it like this you can see it perfectly clear, or you can go ahead and put this over in front of a camera lens. And um, that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, and then let's find the sun. 4,000, let's put this over it. There it is. There it is. And then we can zoom all the way in. Let's zoom in. we are and then let's put it into focus there we go and now you can see your solar eclipse it's best if you have a rubber band you can tie this thing onto otherwise just get shaky hand movement but either way it's pretty cool and without Whoa. and with there we go and now here you go. Now this is a composition of the photos that I just took this morning. Um, just put them together in Photoshop and adjusted the color because a welding lens will cast a green look to everything. And um, um, there you have it. You can use this for your eyeballs. You can use this for a camera. You can use this for your iPhone. You can use this really for whatever you want. So different camera settings will give you a different look. I was using an ISO of about 800 and a shutter speed of about 160 and um, my aperture was right about 9 and so it just gives a really uh, dark look to the skies and really makes everything nice and crisp but if you want to have a more natural look, have the skies be brighter, see more of the clouds then just choose a lighter welding lens, one that's not as dark and adjust your camera settings accordingly and have some fun and be safe.